Ben Simmons, dude, I feel bad for the guy, really. I'm not one of those people who sits here and disparages Ben Simmons. So he's out for the season while trying to figure out this back nerve impingement, which uh, from my understanding is pinched nerve. And if you guys don't know, pinched nerves freaking suck, dude. Pinched nerves suck. If any of you have had them, you would know. It is terrible. I would now ask somebody to have a pinched nerve, like even on my worst enemy. It's it's something that seems so simple, but it really throws you off your whole life. And yeah, I, I think it's it goes to show how you know back issues can really just affect a player. I mean, we saw Brooke Lopez two seasons ago look like terrible didn't even play and looked terrible and then got his back fixed in the last two years he's been one of the better defensive bigs in the entire nba so we know that's a thing we've seen it and to me we're seeing a, a an era in basketball where i you know having these six foot ten dudes play the way they do obviously it's probably not the most natural movements for their bodies so it's gonna i feel like compound and be worse than it really is so for me i think this is a result of just something that's been building up and i think he is a serious issue and i'm not one of those people who sits around and goes like oh he's soft oh he he you know he's a baby because like that's realistically that's just not true and i personally think that's just being rude to these nba players acting as if they're you feel like they're just being utilized that's just kind of pawns sometimes by the media to just disparage them when i'm sorry like this was not something that ben simmons could control uh, and i know people are gonna say oh he's soft this is why this is happening dude this guy legit has like a back problem and a real bad one i mean same thing happened with dwight i could sit here and list all the times that there have been really bad back issues and from my understanding is basically back issues are the worst thing you could ever happen and they're incredibly hard to get over there's thousand ways that could be causing them like you could literally have back issues just from stress if you guys didn't know that so to me i think as sports fans we kind of forget how sensitive and how easy the human body is i mean dude i sprained my ankle pretty nasty if i showed you guys my ankle right now it's been two days since i sprained it bro and i'm already probably if i was a professional athlete i could play on it but you know other people they they'd still be recovering i mean i've always had really fast recovery i don't know why but yeah that's how i've always been and for me it's it's made sense it's when it, in terms of recovery following what my doctor says but for some people it doesn't work and they have to go outside the box and find different methodologies to heal something that might be simple in their eyes but for some reason their body isn't responding and again this could really be the case of what's going on with our man here ben simmons and why he struggled with injuries so much so i do think it's it could be a case that's just more upsetting than not and i want to hear your opinions down below in the comment section what do you guys think i really hope he he becomes healthy again because he's a fun player. But let me hear your thoughts. Thoughts.